When it comes to Long Island, I still reign king. What do you got? Show me. Long Island's auctions get stuff from the Hamptons, and the Hamptons is where all the rich are. When I come to an auction, I'm looking at the biggest, the baddest, the most expensive things in the room. Oh, my god. 125. Big time spender. Come to this auction and you're gonna watch what happens. Moss property is sent to the world's best auctions. Billy, Valerie, and Mark are buyers who scour the auction scene for these hot ticket items and more. It's a battle for the best lots and killer deals. This is Baggage Battles Auction Wars. Oh, jeez. It's shut, but I mean, from what I could see in it, there's some aluminum in there. I'd comfortably go up to $100 on this crate, but if the going gets tough and I gotta battle it out, I might pay more. This is my territory, and I'm certainly not gonna let Valerie and Billy touch it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty... Oh, man, let me look at this. What are you gonna do, beast it up by yourself, man? Come on, let's put it up here. Come on, this is great. This is perfect. It's filthy Long Island, exactly what I was looking for. This is my home turf. You think I don't know half the dealers at this auction? If you want an item here, I'll make sure I talk to my buddies and you will walk out of here with nothing. How is that my problem? That just means you spend more money. Come to this auction and throw your big New York City weight around and dress fancy and you're gonna watch what happens. This is the bowels of America. Well, why don't you go back to the bowels of the Bowery where you belong and leave the rest of the stuff for the suburbanites, all right? You can get this down by yourself. I don't care about this box. I just want to make that kid squirm. It's a dirty piece of nothing. Seal storage, crate with wheels removed from Long Island. Way there we go. $20, on we go. $20, I'm going to go. $20, I got 25 25 30 now, $35. Valerie's driving the price up. Every bid that she gives is money out of my pocket. Please fly back to Canada and leave these local pieces to the local boys. 50 I got now, 75. 50 to business, 75. 75 in air, 75 and 100. 100 now, 125. 125 and one and a half. One and a quarter, one and a half. 200. Come on, I'll sell it. It's getting late. Oh, no. sold. 258. Yeah. I feel good, but I'm apprehensive. $200 is a big gamble for an unknown. 248, checking out. I spent $200 at this auction. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. I didn't get as many items as I had hoped for, so I really need this yellow and black crate to pay off. Or I'm going from hometown hero to hometown zero. There's a lot of weight in it. I'm hoping for some really nice tools. Vintage Excel coils, 25, 30 bucks. I'm pretty disappointed. There's nothing but junk in this box. <laughs> wow. This is a supercharger. I know car parts, and I love this. It's 30 pounds of brolic aluminum. I'm excited because this thing could be worth a pretty penny. This box of parts, are definitely for a race car. This might be worth five grand or 500. And I'm thinking I'm just the guy to go take this to. I'm going to see my friends over at Petro Works in my hometown, Lindenhurst. These guys are complete gearheads. They have six or seven lifts at this shop with a half a million dollars in cars. Hey, Al. Hey, Mark. My buddy Al is going to be able to tell me everything I need to know about this supercharger and more importantly, how much is it worth? Yo, I got some killer stuff I gotta show you. What do you got? Show me. Oh, boy. Wow. Amazing. This is a piece of art. It's a 671 GM supercharger. This makes you go boom, boom very fast. I'll mm -hmm. tell you that. This is a great piece you got here. To a gearhead, we don't like oil paintings. We like beautiful pieces of metal. In terms of the supercharger, how does it work, man? Real easy. Basically like a reverse vacuum machine. It's gonna suck air from the top and push it down the bottom. It's a major word on this is combustion. Mm -hmm. And that's where the power is coming from. All right, so more fuel, more pressure, more power. 100%, that's what this is all about. I have a car behind me that's mm -hmm. a 69 Camaro that has this with a 383 stroke motor, and that's pushing about 900 horses. That's like five Honda Civics put together in one, and that's how much power you're gonna get out of this one car. 
Is there anything else left here? Because you are missing some end caps. In it. I got nothing else. Every gearhead knows incomplete parts means less money. You got a lot of rust. So you got to literally clean this yeah. up, oil it up, make it work again, test right. it out. So I only paid a couple hundred bucks for this. What do you think it's worth put together? You're missing a couple pieces. I think cleaned up, put together, you're probably looking at $3,000. Wow. That's a lot of money, man. Yes, it is. With the right components, this setup could be worth $3,000. Now, those are numbers I like to hear. Hey, man, Good I job. I want to thank you for your time today. Anytime, man. God right. bless. Have a great Thanks, day. Man. I got killer race parts in my backyard. When it comes to Long Island, I still reign king. Billy's checked the booze barometer, and he's clear to ride his high-wheel bike to a high profit of over $1,500. Val rode into the sunset with her antique saddle, making a killing of $1,560. And Mark supercharged his wallet, crossing the finish line with a profit of $2,800. I got to show my dad this thing. He used to race. He's going to love this. Go check it out. This is cool. Yeah, this I is know. it. I know. How cool this is, is it? it, man? I think it's pretty cool. It needs some parts. We may have something upstairs. No way. I got to check this out. <laughs> Dad, there's a ton of stuff back here. It was a big box. Big one? The big one. I think I found it. Right, this is it. OK. Beautiful. You weren't kidding. Oh, that is cool. This has got to be the coolest thing that's ever been in this garage. Every time you stroke that thing, it's another 100 bucks. Keep going. Hey, guys. Dinner's ready. Mom, I need a couple more minutes to polish. It looks gorgeous. My dinner looks gorgeous, too. Come eat it. All right, fine. 